All right, all you Dimensioneers, this is Braun. I'm going to do that Dimension Toolbox add-on tutorial that I do and uh, see if we can teach you all how to use it a little bit better or at all for those that don't know how to do it. First thing you want to do is uh, use the slash toolbox command to open it in your dimension and it's a little bit confusing at first, but it's really separated into four sections. The top left is for item information. So if we've got a board out here um, and we select it, you'll see your X coordinate, Y coordinate, Z coordinate, the yaw, the pitch, and the roll, and its scale. So make that all the way big. Um, the second section is the middle section in the left, which um, you can set absolute positions. Let's say we want to put that at absolutely 350x. And move that and it'll move it at exactly 350. Let me just uh, move these over. Uh, let's say we want to change the Y to exactly 1058. We can move and 275. Move. There you go. So that was over. <coughs> So that pretty much is what that section does. But the third section that it has is at the bottom. Um, it's got a copy and a paste button and the XYZ yaw pitch roll and scale for the item that you're actually copying and pasting. So let's put a couple of more of these boards out here. Just control D, that's really the best way to do it. There isn't really any other way other than dragging it, and that's really a huge pain. So select the item that you want, copy it, select this item, paste it, and it will put it in the exact position of the other one. Select another one, paste it, puts it right over there. Boom. Look at that. Paste. Boom. Now let's say you've got a, a bunch of them. Um, you want to select a whole bunch of items, paste. Boom. They're all there, all four of them all five of them I guess. So you can go ahead and use copy and paste really quickly to, to um, move uh, move items to very exact locations. Um, let's put a let's go ahead and get rid of these and we'll, we'll put a pick those up. Let's get a some platforms out here. We'll make a little platform really quick. Make this big. And let's do like three by, let's say three by three. So there's one, two. Let's put eight more, let's put seven more out. So there's our platforms. We're gonna first we're gonna copy this one, the base one. Then we're gonna select all of them. Once they're all selected, we're gonna paste them all. That'll give us uh, all of them the exact same spot. Now, if you know the item's dimensions, you can you can move um, each item. Let's go select relative because we don't want to move it to an absolute position. We want to move it relative. Let's move the z, the z coordinate. The arrow points to the positive direction. So if you move the blue to the left, it'll that's positive. If you if you move it negative, it'll go to the right. If you move red positive, it'll go down. If you move it negative, it'll go back, it'll go up, etc. So let's move the blue one. These these uh platforms at at max size at, are actually 9 by 13 um, and I kinda if you play around with them you can you can figure out what individual item sizes are but uh, let's move this one negative 9 back relative to its current position you can move that boom and it moves it over let's move this one uh, move it twice and there's that one now let's move the third one 
let's move its uh, x position minus 13 and we'll move that one twice just to get it out there we'll move this one and then we'll move these ones that one that one let's get a, our platform all built here move these ones out and now we're going to move the the z position again negative nine let's just say nine and we're going to put those over there. Move, move, and all right. There's our platform. So as you can see, it's really oh that didn't. It's not quite nine, but it's pretty close. <coughs> now I wanted to talk a little bit about flicker because as you can see, we've got a little bit of flicker going on here, and it's because your positions are so exact that the your your graphics card is is fighting on which block it's displaying um, the way you fix this is to move its relative position the the y coordinate um, just very very slightly 0 0.0002 or 0 0.0004 will work and if you move every other block barely you'll see that you're going to get rid of all the flicker all your flicker is now gone and you can't even tell that you moved it really this is so slight that it really doesn't affect the visibility now I moved this one to show you um, how we can really quickly move that back into position now we want to line it up with our first block, so we select our first block, copy, select this one. We only want to move the, the the x value, so let's unselect these, paste, and slid right back in place. Lined right up with the other ones. So copy and paste is really, really a fast way to get your items lined up perfectly. Um, then you can move the y values or the values you need to, to fix your flickers on. and change those very slightly to remove flicker. Uh, now that we've got that built, um, I'm going to, I guess we can load and save an item. Um, so now, if you build something really neat that you want to recreate, you can save, you can select all of your items, and then type in Stone Platform, and you can save it, and now you can recreate that really really quickly by in your list of saved items you can select that you can print materials down here in the chat box it will it will display exactly what you need nine gray stone rectangles um, I'm gonna actually build something that Katasia let me borrow call and it's so one of her neat little benches that she made um, for it, you need 17 red strawberries, 128 wood planks, 8 wood poles. So let's uh, come over here and let's set all those out. It's going to take a minute, so probably just... Uh, Alright, so we've got 8 rows of 16. That's 28. That's 128. We need 8 wooden poles, and we need 17 decorative red strawberries. Alright, we've got 17 strawberries, 128 wood planks, and 8 wood poles. Like I said, it doesn't matter where you put them because we're going to do a little trick here and uh, open up the dimension items list. This will show you every item in your dimension um, since there really isn't anything in here but those rectangles I put and all of the planks here we go, the planks, the poles, and the strawberries. I'm actually going to hold the shift key down and select all of the, I'm just going to scroll through them all and select them all, select everything in here. As you can see, selecting them all, keep missing a couple. one. 
lists them in order. So the last things that you put it down are going to be at the very bottom of the list. So there's our list. We've got, we've got everything selected. All 128 wood planks, 17 strawberries, and 8 poles. Now, um, you can do this with an entire dimension. Um, just select everything in your dimension, um, save it a name, um, and if you ever pack it up you can uh, lay it all out, select it all, select the name that you're going to be, that you saved it under. This is actually going to be the bench and it'll load. It'll load every single thing into little bench. There you go. So the load and save, the f save and load features are really, really convenient. Um, saves you a lot of time and work. You can also hit move if, as long as you don't unselect, if you do unselect it, just use the items list again to go through and reselect everything. I know it's kind of a pain, but when you're talking about, you know, 130, 40, 50, 300 items, um, it's a lot easier than trying to click every single item in there. Um, one other thing that we can do with this, now that it's all selected, is use the XYZ and move as group function feature to um, move it around. Like say, I've built things that were 500 items before. Um, giant platforms with railings and, and you know, a, 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 an entire house. Um, and I wanted to move the whole thing slightly, uh, rotate it, and Rift has a really hard time dealing with hundreds of items. You move it using the the place or dragging feature like this does. Uh, if you've got a couple of hundred items, and especially if they're expanded really big and you're moving this around like this, uh, your rift's going to crash. So what you want to do is select them all and use the toolbox to move everything around. Like uh, if you want to move the X, you can move it, say, three to the right or in the positive direction and hit move and it'll move it doesn't move it as a group it actually goes through and moves every single piece three spots over so um, I have yet to crash rift doing moving objects through the toolbox like I've experienced moving it um, using the arrows so that's a really nice feature of the toolbox um, you can move it any direction up down you can also do not use here's <laughs> one not good feature of the toolbox and that's if you if you move things like the yaw or the pitch or the roll because it doesn't move it as a group there is no move as a group feature if you if you say move the roll 15 degrees and hit rotate it'll go through and move every single item and you don't really want that it's going to move each piece and it's going to totally mess everything up. So just use the move as group uh, for the XYZ makes things so much easier uh, especially if you've got hundreds of items all selected and your your uh, clients gonna crash if you try to move them all at the same time. I think that pretty much does it. I went over the the item properties, the XYZ got the copy and paste, that's one of the most useful items. We've gone over load. I guess that is the most useful is the load and save. So I hope that was a little bit helpful. If you, anybody's got any questions, just let me know. I'll try to make either another video or just uh, answer it in a post. Later.